Hi folks, today I'm so excited to be able to share with you some awesome information about sitting. It's something we all do and I have Scott Bannerman with us today. He's an ergonomics expert on a mission to teach others in the corporate world and I'm sure us working from home too because we're sitting a lot just as much to combat the sitting disease. He's the founder and chairman of Sit Tight which is a company that has transformed sitting into an activity that improves your health by using your body's natural ability to balance. Bonnerman has been featured on Innovation Nation with Mo Roca. Is that right? That's Fox, right. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Which is a fast com from Fast Company magazine. And last year, Sit Tight won the bronze at the 2018 Edison Award. So congratulations on that. That's a really wonderful accomplishment, Scott. So um, I'd like to just talk to you about, um, you know, folks now are working home more than ever. Right. And, you know, with all the telecommuting that's been going on the past years, and sitting, I know for me personally, when I was in, before I opened up my own business and I worked in corporate America, we were allowed to telecommute. And, you know, I found myself locked in my office for endless hours, sitting, sitting, sitting. And I had to put a timer on to remind myself to get up because if I didn't do that, it, hours would pass by and I wouldn't budge from the chair. So can you tell us just a little bit about what it is that you do and what you can do um, for folks in the corporate world as well as folks working from home to help us improve our health when it comes to sitting all day absolutely you know the really the whole genesis of the product came from the old necessities the mother of invention you know i yes. took a desk job years ago and within less than a year i think about nine months put on 15 pounds and i started realizing oh my goodness what's happening to me i really hadn't changed my diet but I had gone from living a much a more active lifestyle to, to actually uh, finding myself sitting at a desk eight to 12 hours a day, like many of us do. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it just dawned on me that I was gonna have to come up with a way to burn calories while I was sitting. So the original idea was really just to try to turn sitting into an activity that I, where I could burn calories and, and uh, not have it have such a uh, detrimental effect on my health. And um, so that, that was, Back in 2012, um, you know, we basically since then have uh, patented the product. It has three patents on it, mm -hmm. and um, it accomplished what we wanted it to do for people physically because you're actually balancing on the chair with your feet up off the floor, and so it feels a lot like you're riding a bike and you're exercising, if you will, all the muscles in your postural system because it's requiring that you sit up straight and hold yourself up, and um, so that was the beginning aspect of it, but since then we've um, discovered that balancing, it turns out, is good for brain health as well. Wonderful, and you can tell us some more about that. And of course, I'll post some images here so folks can see the chair and exactly know, you know, what it is that you're talking about. Um, why is it, you know, just a basic question, why is sitting so bad for us? I mean, other than the obvious, but why is it particularly bad for us? You know, I, I think a big part of it is our bodies really were never meant to just sit in one place as, as you know for hour upon hour day after day month after month and in many cases year after year and so you know after a few decades of sitting in an office chair for many hours a day um, not only is our heart rate very low so you're in a situation where you're not burning many calories but the other thing is almost every chair certainly in this country that you sit in from your car to your kitchen table to where you sit at work has a backrest on it Right. And so by leaning into and collapsing into a backrest, in many cases a really very expensive ergonomic chair with, if you will, too good a support, mm -hmm. our bodies, the muscles in our, our, our postural system tend to atrophy. And so um, that's why we're not burning a whole lot of calories. We're just, the chairs are, if you will, a little bit too good, right? And so um, I had done a pretty good job ruining my back in uh, college playing football and then what was left of it, I wrecked skiing years later. So I always had a very expensive ergonomic chair with really good support. And it, it did the job while I was sitting, but the problem is then when I get up and move around and try to be active and go do, you know, play volleyball or go skiing or whatever, I was always having back problems. And finally, you know, people are starting to realize some of these chairs, they just have too much support. And so sitting in a chair with 
effectively an exoskeleton around you has the same effect of having a cast on your arm or any kind of a brace when you go to take it off. You know, you have an issue where the muscles atrophied and if you've ever broken an arm, you take the cast off, your arms aren't the same size after right. six weeks. So that's effectively what's happening when we sit all day long in a, uh, a really supportive chair. Now, what about, um, you know, posture? So if we're sitting in your chair, mm -hmm. is that forcing us to sit up straight or do you find that like it's causing people maybe to slouch a little bit and you have to like it or is that balance forcing you to sit up straight? Explain yeah. that, how it works. Yeah, it's interesting. If you think of um, a gymnast or a prima ballerina, you, th those aren't people you typically expect to have really poor posture, right? So they in fact typically have perfect posture. And when you see a gymnast on a balance beam, they tend to be standing there with shoulders back, chest up, just great posture. So this was really the first big surprise. I mean, it, it was easy for us to show how balancing would run your heart rate up. If you use a heart rate monitor, Apple Watch, Fitbit, anything along those lines, you'll find your heart rate runs up about 20% when you're balancing. But um, what was a big surprise for us is when people would put their feet up on the chair and begin to balance, they tended to sit up very straight. In fact, I'll do that right now since we're talking about it. So now that I'm, I'm sitting on the chair balancing, immediately your body kind of comes to a position of really good posture. So it was really quite a surprise for us. And then as people get, their core gets stronger and they get better at it, the chair actually has an air bladder and allows you to add air so you can make it harder to sit on, which tends to make you sit up even straighter and keep you from hunching over the keyboard. Wow, that's great uh, ergonomics right there. It was just a surprise. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't really what we'd intended, but but it was a pleasant surprise. Well, you look very comfortable to me. Um, you look like you're sitting up straight and you don't seem to be struggling, so. No, there, there should be, if you have the right amount of air in it, if you go to sit with really poor posture, you should kind of tip over onto the tip limiter. So we tell people, if, if you can sit with bad posture and you can still balance on it, you need to add more air to the chair. Ah, so you need that struggle is what you're saying. Exactly. Ah. Not, not even, there just should be a little bit of movement going on all the time. You kind of tend to feel your hips moving around, very small, slight movements, but um, that's really all it takes. You know, it shouldn't be disruptive at work or if you're sitting and watching TV, it's a pretty simple process. Now, is there a limited amount of time like or a build up to sitting in the chair or can the the user expect to sit in the chair and, and work in it all day? Um, well, we tell everybody you want to really ease into it. You know, if you think about it, decades of sitting in a chair with a back in it hasn't done a lot for our postural systems. And mm -hmm. if you want to see how out of shape everyone's core is, all you have to do is go to a sporting event where you see kids out playing soccer and if you look in the stands the parents are all sitting in the bleachers wincing after about 30 minutes and, and that gives you a pretty good indication of as a country really what's happened to us from from again having these chairs be a little bit too good and too supportive so we typically tell people about 10 minutes to 15 minutes per hour when they begin um, for the first week or so and then slowly work up to that between three to four weeks, people are typically at a point where they can sit and balance for the entire day. But oh, wow. going back to the gym, you need to ease into it. You know, if, if you decided you were going to run a half marathon, you wouldn't start out running several miles. You'd probably run so around the true. block a couple of times and you'd ease into it. And we recommend the same. So true. Can you tell us a little bit, have you done any research to those uh, standing desks? Because um, they were a thing, um, like even a year or two ago, they became a big thing. And we kept seeing articles about them all over. And I know my son went and got one, and that's all he uses now. But he does complain about that, too, that um, it's not entirely comfortable or, yeah, you know, he'll get a backache. What are his typical complaints? And that's normally what we hear. The yeah. The person just can't stand up all day. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Um, and so when they first came out, um, people noticed that their feet hurt. So then they developed uh, thick foam pads for people to stand on, like gel pads. And they went, okay, now my ankles hurt, and now my <laughs> knees hurt, my hips hurt, my back hurts. You go, okay, well, so that's been a bit of a problem with standing desks. Um, the other negative is there was a, a large study just done in Canada a couple of years ago, and it was published 
recently where people who stand for eight hours a day for their jobs, if their heart rate's very low, uh, their uh, risk of stroke doubles. Because if you think about it, if you know anybody that stands all day for work, hairstylist, you know, grocery check or whatever, right. moving around enough to keep their heart rate up, the blood tends to pool in their legs and the visual thing that comes from that is, um, uh, you know, having varicose veins. But more dangerous, what's happening internally is the blood's pooling in your lower extremities, it can clot. And if those clots let loose and get to your brain, you know, it's a stroke. So it's, um, you know, there, there's some concern, certainly yes. people standing all day long. So our chair is modular. You can not only sit on a sit tight at a standing desk because of the height adjustability, it's it's a good fit for the chair anyway because your feet are about four or five inches off the floor. Mm -hmm. So you do want to be able to move your work surface up a bit. And then in addition to that, the chair is modular. So you can pop the seat off in just seconds and then stand on the footrest platform and balance as you're standing at your standing desk. And that tends to keep your heart rate up and increase brain activity for alertness as well. But most importantly, keeping your heart pumping so that you can move that blood back up out of your legs. And um, how long have you been using the chair yourself? You know, we started the, I guess the idea came, gosh, it's been, I guess, 2011. Uh, when I crawled out of the swimming pool, looked at my stomach and went, oh, dear God, what's happening to my body here? <laughs> um, by 2012, we'd, we uh, were working on prototypes and had submitted the patent. So, you know, at, at least in a prototype kind of way, going back to 2012, it took till 2015 to get... Um, to actually get the uh, first utility patent issued and then move from there to pre-production and on into production. We've really you know, only been selling now kind of in a test mode for a little over a year. Um, so along the way, you know, I've, I've had the benefit of just kind of easing into it, but um, the people that, that we know jump on a sit tight when they first get it, for them, I think they start to really notice a difference in their core after about a, a month. And then as they work through it, now we have people tell us after three, four months on the chair, they just, they, they don't ever go back to their regular chair. Wow, I can believe that. Now, you were, you were mentioning to me before we started um, recording that there are a lot of studies that you guys have been doing and you have them on your website, which again, I'll make sure I link to all those, um, all that information. Can you just talk to us a little bit about some of the medical studies that you did with your chair? And Sure. Yeah, we, um, the, the first one uh, was a kinesiology study done by Georgia Southern University. Um, they're in the middle of publishing it right now. That'll be available uh, hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, but that, that's also on our, our website, just mm -hmm. basically coming soon. Um, we wanted to wait until it was published to put it out, but they tested someone sitting in a regular chair versus sitting on an exercise ball or a yoga ball and then versus sitting on a sit tight. And there wasn't a huge difference in the amount of kilocalories burned when you move to a ball, um, because you know, your feet are on the floor and you're really pretty solid. Um, a lot of companies won't let you use balls anymore because people have rolled over backwards and fallen yes. off them or they, they've gotten to, you know, get up and reach for something on their desk and the ball rolls out. And then a little they, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's like someone pulled the chair out from underneath you. So, right. um, but when you jump from there to putting your feet up on our chair and actually balancing the kilocalorie burn is, is quite high. Um, and those results will be available soon for everybody. But a lot of our, our uh, customers is simply, they use a heart rate monitor anyway. Mm -hmm. And so they've been able to just prove to themselves the big difference because a lot of those heart rate monitors also will um, count calories for you and keep track of what's going on. So it's really easy for them with a wearable to accomplish that. They just went a lot more in depth with it with the uh, kinesiology study. Right. And um, so from a physical aspect of it, it's, it's pretty easy to see and feel the difference for yourself when you're on it. Um, like I said, the, the first big surprise was the posture thing. A, a lot of chiropractors and doctors will tell you a big uh, amount of the problems that come with back pain and neck pain come from poor posture. Um, sitting in a chair, you know, hunching over a keyboard. Um, a lot of people use a, a laptop computer and the screen's way too low. So then their neck is crooked down as they yes. look at the screen. So when people make a move with us, a lot of times they've already purchased a standing desk. They're already investing to try to improve their health. And then we kind of feel like we're the key to unlocking the value of that investment 
because you can you know utilize our product sitting or standing you can burn way more calories balancing than you can just you know standing there and then we also try to tell everybody get your screen up in the air too you really you really do need to once you're sitting up very straight um, it's important to get your screen up high so you're looking directly into the screen right just trying to make sure that you're aligned you know so with you your don't want your head like Looking down, you want to make sure that like there's a definite alignment between the monitor and your spine, right? Right, exactly. So a lot of people, even if they use a notebook or a laptop computer, now will put that up in the air and use a separate keyboard that typically now is just wirelessly connected mm -hmm. because the, the height of the keyboard when you get the screen up is too high for the average person to type. So there's some separation of those that are important. So I think that's those are the big issues with posture. Mm -hmm. And then we try to tell people as your core gets stronger and you find that it's just easier to sit, flip the chair over, pump a little more air in it, make it a little harder. You should just want to keep challenging yourself. And then after a few months, people find they kind of level off with that and they can just keep the air pressure about the same. And it it requires them to stay moving all the time. And um, not only is the, that helping with the physical uh, benefit, but like I said, the, the really big surprise for us was the number of customers that came back and mentioned that they were having an easier time staying focused while they were sitting on our chair. And mm -hmm. at first we thought, well, that's interesting and really neat, but mm -hmm. we just kept getting those calls and emails. So we've actually gone out and done a clinical trial with a group in Colorado Springs called Turning Point Medical and they did a brain map study and found that sure enough, when you're balancing on our chair, the parts of your brain that are very active to control your central nervous system and, and impact your balance are also the things that control all your cognition. So your mental processing speed, your ability to focus, your ability to memorize are all impacted by those parts of your brain. So then it started to make a lot more sense. And yeah, I was uh, just gonna ask you about that, mm -hmm. uh, the correlation between um, brain function and balance right yeah it's it again it was sort of manna from heaven i'd love to tell you i was smart enough to have thought of that but <laughs> that's not the case i played football in college i got hit in the head a lot it's a <laughs> miracle i can balance my own checkbook but it, it's one of those things that just we, we just kept getting so much feedback from people and um the more we dug into it now we have a uh, number of clinics uh, using our chair with their patients doing proprioceptive exercises for brain health. Um, we also uh, have um, a high school you'll see on our website down in Texas for kids with attention deficit issues that are just having remarkable results. And so we've had people with struggling with all kinds of brain issues. Um, so this is where the physical therapy part comes in, where you guys are working with PT for yeah. different types of conditions. Yeah, even, even occupational therapy um, has been a big deal. The Cleveland Clinic here in Las Vegas uses it in their occupational therapy department. Um, so we think there's there's a lot of application there um, and we're, it, it's very early. We, ha we have an enormous amount of anecdotal evidence uh, that, that leads us, led us to believe that it made sense to do some of those studies. So we headed down that road and there are a number of others that we'll be working on as time goes by. Um, but that's in, in the end may turn out to be the, um, the biggest value of our yeah. product is the impact on your brain and, and not just your body. Um, and then the other thing we've kind of noticed is, is people tend to just enjoy it. They, they, I, I don't know if it just brings a little bit of physicality to their work and makes the day seem shorter, but we do have a lot of people tell us they just, it's fun. You know, they, they enjoy balancing it. It makes them more alert and attentive. And in some cases just makes working at a desk all day more enjoyable. Now, have you noticed anybody having a difficult time, like, balancing? Because some people just, like, can't ride bikes. They're just not good at it. So would, yeah. would they have that type of struggle, too, in the beginning? Yeah. You, know, you can let the air out of the bladder. We ship them with just barely any air pressure in it at all. And um, the tip limiter, which was the part of the first patent that we received, only allows the user to tip 15 degrees from vertical. And so the average person is not going to tip so much that they're going to feel like they're falling off. Um, oh, that's like, great. Yeah. I mean, it was really important to us that we, we, we created something that would be safe in the workplace. And, um, you know, even when you're standing on it, the tip limiter functions much the same way. 
Um, it's not going to allow the user to feel like they're going to fall off or sprain an ankle or something. So it's a much safer way to utilize balance standing or so, sitting. So does it feel like a gentle reminder? Like when you see, you know, when you're starting to like go off kilter, does it just like gently remind you to rebalance yourself? Yeah, much in the same way, though, that, that you would on a bike. For example, um, if I tip all the way over on the tip limiter, that's it. That's as far as it's going to let me go that way, and then 15 degrees the other direction, that's it. So you're not going very far before you, you feel the tip limiter catch you and protect you. Same thing with forward to back. But um, what that's, we, important. that's an important yeah. fact for folks to know because... Um, when I was reading about it, I immediately thought about that, like, oh, gosh, I wonder if you can fall on the floor. So <laughs> it's it's good you clarified that. Yeah, I mean, we have, you know, definitely some older customers. For example, my parents are, are in their 80s, and they have their coffee on it every morning at the kitchen table. Oh, so wow. I'm very comfortable putting my own mom and dad on it. Um, and, and a lot of the clinics that we work with have older patients as well, and, and frankly, for a lot of them, it's really difficult for them to get any kind of exercise whatsoever. So to be able to just sit in a chair, balance, you know, tighten up their core and have those paraspinal muscles that run right up and down your vertebrae, um, begin to finally get some exercise, um, balance is just a huge issue for older people and such a, such a risk, obviously. It really is. So um, again, that, that may turn out to be one of the highest and best uses of the product is is working with uh, older folks that, that struggle with their balance anyway. And do you find after that month period or so that people just don't miss the back of their chair? I, I can just tell you, for me, I, I didn't. But remember, I mean, this was for me going on over, you know, several years, not several weeks. Um, it, it does seem a little weird to me now to go back to my uh, very expensive uh, <laughs> chair because I do feel like I, I tend to sit in it and just kind of let my body just collapses into the backrest. And I'm like, oh, that's why we created sit tight. You know? <laughs> so, you know, once in a while I do find myself in a chair. I was at a conference the other day um, sitting for hours pretty much all day from 8 in the morning till 5, um, sitting in a regular chair. And I did really notice the difference. I actually several times during the day just slid forward on the chair and sat without a back just so I was paying closer attention. I mean, yes. you evening news, you'll notice that the uh, news people are not leaning into the yes. back. Yes. The <laughs> none of them do. Right. None of them do. Uh, that's a good point. That's really a good point. Uh, so is there anything else that you would like to tell us? Um, can, can folks go buy this chair tomorrow or is it a pre-order type of situation? Yeah, no, the chair's available now at sittight.com. We have a 30-day money-back guarantee so people can try it, make sure they're, that, that it works for them. We, we don't want someone to just buy it and have it sit in the corner and collect dust or be a clothes hanger or what is it, what everybody <laughs> seems to do with all their exercise equipment, right? Right, right. Um, so, yeah, we're, they have a 30-day opportunity to, to turn it around and send it back. Um, so it's available now. We we ship within 24 hours, and so it comes UPS ground off the West Coast. So it's something they can have in, in their office or home very quickly. Um, the only other thing really to mention, I guess, is that you know, over time there will be more studies that will be available. We'll continue to provide that information. Um, there are some studies being done right now on emotional health and the impact of balance on that, which is part of that, you know, fitness for your body, focus for your mind, fun for yeah. your soul. And so, um, you know, we'll continue to post those up as time goes by. And um, it, we, we are very anxious about working through, even on into our, our latest patent we have where we embed a chip that has a movement accelerometer built into it. And so eventually we hope to make it a connected device as well. That will be an upgrade that will be available for people even that buy the chair now. Um, to be able, as you're balancing, see yourself moving on the on your computer screen. Oh, that sounds so cool. And we're hoping to take the proprioceptive exercises that some of the clinics are developing right now um, that are more analog and move those into a digital format so eventually people will be able to literally take a break every couple hours and actually use the movement of their body to, um, to do an exercise on the computer screen that will be designed for brain health. Wow, I could I could totally see that being connected to to what you've got going on now. So it would be a lot more interactive in a way. Yeah, just really good feedback. I think um, 
the way um, some of the clinics are using the chair, they'll actually shoot video of the patient on the chair and then show them in real time what's happening uh, with a big screen TV in front of them. So that that's kind of the first step to that is being able to see yourself actually move and be able to correct that. Again, elderly people a lot of times struggle with balance and they think a lot of it isn't just a physical thing, it's that their brain is not responding as quickly to um, you know the input of like, hey, you know, you're tipping over. <laughs> and uh, so to be able to see what's happening and feel it at the same time, that kind of immediate feedback um, right. finding in a clinical environment to be really important. And not everybody has a camera and a big screen TV right. to, to be able to accomplish that in their office. So um, to be able to just do it with an embedded chip and um, you know, it'll fit well with the whole wearable uh, movement that's going on right now. So that same technology would be able to take in input from a heart rate monitor so you can see just how much your heart is actually going up as you're balancing. All, all of that feedback loop, I think, is really important. Oh, yes, it is. Um, it's, you know, probably very exciting times for you guys over there with all these uh, studies coming out, really proving the validity of your chair and what you're trying to do to get people healthy again. Yeah. <clears throat> so anything else you want to add to let our listeners know about your chair? I think you pretty much covered it. Yeah, no, I think your questions were great. I mean, just, I hope we've, we've covered the things that'd be important to anybody. The rest of the information is available on our website. Can they reach out to you if they have any questions? Like, is there a place on your website where Absolutely. they can contact you guys? Yeah, absolutely. There, there is a uh, support uh, page and there's a contact us button where you can send information and we can communicate directly with them. Wonderful, wonderful. And of course, they can visit you on Facebook and all the social media platforms. Oh, yeah. All the, <laughs> the usual suspects. Right? We're on wonderful. Facebook, um, sit tight, and um, LinkedIn and a number of pretty much all the all the uh, social media sites. The links are on the bottom of our website as well. Great, and I'll make sure I include them in the article as well as in the video description. Thank you so much, Scott. It was Thank really you. a learning experience, and I'm, I'm super excited to try one myself. All I'm right. I'm so tired Great. of sitting all day. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.